Hey there, thanks for taking a minute and stopping by and uh, trying to pick up a bit of knowledge. If you're out there right now searching on the internet, um, hopefully, maybe you don't have a roof repair, maybe you do, I don't know, but hey, listen, if you're out there searching right now or calling someone like myself for a little bit of advice, here's what I want you to do. Do a search like I did, get online, um, and just put something tile roofing, tile roofing after storm picks. Now, I do a lot of tile roofing um, consulting work in the San Antonio area and what I have come across is a number of people that aren't really aware of how to diagnose what's wrong specifically with their tile uh, roof. Well, after a storm, there's a few things that you want to do. And number one, you can save yourself a lot of hassle if there's some simple diagnosis that you could do yourself. Getting on the roof sometimes is really not the best option. Um, especially after a storm, you could have things if you have an asphalt roof that look like this. And um, although this is what you see, obviously you would be walking around these types of things. Um, again, here is one of the reasons you wouldn't want to be on it. There are other shingles that are probably affected and uh, one wrong step and it can send you down the, uh, down the way. Now, when it comes to tile roof, because that's an important one to talk about, especially the San Antonio area here, um, obvious things like this, you're gonna call somebody right away and want somebody to come out and you're gonna file an insurance claim. However, there are less obvious things than what you're seeing right here. Typically what you can see from tile roofs over a period of time are, number one, the tile itself will last a very long time and the underlayment underneath of it, um, that's what you're seeing, this felt underneath of it, will almost completely rot away. After a storm, a self-diagnostic that you can do when you go out there and take a look, um, I would uh, you know, grab a pair of binoculars, um, a simple look around the edges here, looking for any cracked pieces like this would be a dead giveaway that you want to make a phone call. Also, one thing that's um, often overlooked with tile roofs, um, and this is again one of the reasons you want to call an expert, is they will have micro fractures in them that you can barely see. Now think of those terracotta pots. Um, pots that you put plants in and think about the edges of these things. You can actually see stress around those. Well, when it gets really cold and a piece of hail or anything else gets really up against that, it really creates even a more brittle surface where it's not easily um, typically seen like the damage. Like this would be so obvious, um, it could be much more subtle. Um, and of course, the same thing is true with the damage when it comes to hail or anything else with asphalt roofs. So, hey, thanks for watching this video. Um, if you would, you wanna take a look and try to find um, you know, a little bit more information, I'll put a couple of links below. Also, you're watching this video because uh, yeah, it's, it's a way to connect with the people in the area here and, uh, and give some good knowledge. So, I'll probably put a name of a company that I've done some work with in the past uh, below there. Give them a call. And uh, again, thanks for watching.